Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, I'm gonna show you this quick and simple, easy tools that trackyourdividends.com just implemented into their website. This tool is gonna help you invest into the stock market by telling you how much you need to invest in order to have a certain amount of money by the age that you want. So let's say if you're 20 years old, you can save around $100 every single week in order to end up with a million dollar account by the time you retire. But if you're 50 years old, you gotta save around three, four, five thousand dollars every single week in order to catch up to retire at the million dollar price point. If you guys are subscribed to my channel, then you already know that I invest $200 every single week into my Robinhood account. Uh, it's part of my challenge to where I'm trying to grow my dividend account over time by investing $200 every single week. If you don't know that, that means scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and join the dream team. And while you're down there, leave the thumbs up button because it really helps out this channel a lot. But enough talking, let's go ahead and pull up trackyourdividends.com. All right, here we are YouTube over on trackyourdividends.com. Once again, I'm gonna leave this link down in the description. All you gotta do is click it to sign up. It is completely free. Once you sign up, just go to trackyourdividends.com and then click the dividend calculator right here it's gonna help you decide how much you need to invest. So let's say uh, right now my portfolio is currently, well, my dividend portfolio is sitting around $10,000, right? And my monthly investment, as you guys know, I invest $200 every single week. That means I am reinvesting $800 every single month. The return rate that we're gonna use is, let's say, SPHD. SPHD, it follows the S&P 500. It is a high dividend, low volatile ETF. Uh, they have increased their dividends over the last seven years, and they pay out around $1.85 per share. Right now, it's at $33.54. But the number that we're actually looking for is this number right here, the dividend yield, which is 5.47%. So we're gonna type in five, point four seven percent in the number of years uh let's say let's say if you're a 20 year old and you want to see how much money will you have by 50 so let's say 30 years of investment eight hundred dollars every single month and all you'll do is hit calculate return so your first year just off a of dividends return alone you will make over 547 dollars that means your total amount if SPHD stays at 33.54 for the next 30 years or for the rest of the year, your account will be at $10,547 just from your dividend growth alone. The next year, you'll make around $1,102 with a total return of $1,600. Um, you will have $21,000 inside of your account at year two because remember you are reinvesting your dividends and you're also reinvesting $800 every single month. So let's say you start at year 20, and by the time you're 30, you'll be making around $6,787 every single year from your dividends. Your turn of return from dividends will be $34,000. And by the time you're 30, your account will be at $130,000 by the time you're 30 by investing $200 every single week. And if the price of SPHD does not go up at all, over the course of the next 10 years. Remember, this is a 5.4% return. So let's say by the time that you're 40, you'll be making around $18,000 a year at the age 40, $160,000 profit from dividends alone, and your dividend portfolio will be around $353,000. You can retire at the age of 40, move to Cabo, Mexico, or move to Portugal with $18,000, that is the price of living over there, and you can retire at the age of 40 just by reinvesting $200 every single week into the stock market, into S&P, uh, into SPHD. Let's scroll all the way down. By the time you're age 50, you'll be making $37,942 every single year. You will have profited $444,000 from dividends and you'll also have a $731,000 dividend portfolio. That's if the price of SPHD does not go up over the course of the next 30 years. Now, historically speaking, 
Uh, stocks usually go up around, the S&P 500 usually go up around five to 7% every single year. So I'm pretty sure you'll have over a million dollar portfolio and you'll be making a lot more than $37,000 per year because the uh, SPHD will, will typically increase their dividends over time to in order to become a dividend aristocrat, dividend aristocrat king, or in that manner. Now that is SPHD by the time if you started investing $200 every single week at the age 20 and we're gonna retire at the age 50, you'll be bringing in a dividend income of around 37,000, almost $38,000 every single year. Now let's pick a different stock and let's go with something ridiculous that I have in my portfolio, which is NRZ, right? All right, so NRZ has, it is a real estate REIT, New Residential Investment Corp. They have a dividend yield of set of 14.74%. So let's go back and plug in those numbers of 14.74%. Is this a safe stock? By all means, no, it's not a safe stock at all. But let's just put it in, type, type it in for, for giggles, and then just hit calculate return. And there we go. First year, you're making $1,400 in your first year. And by year 10, you'll have $28,000 worth of income with a 14 dividend percent yield, just investing $200 a month. At the age of 20, by the time you're 30, you'll have an income of $28,000. Uh, you have profited $126,000 and your dividend portfolio will be $222,000. Now, by the age 40, now you're bringing in over $141,000 at the age of 40. You have profited almost under, a little bit under $1 million, and you will have a $1 million portfolio, $1.1 million by the age 40, if this company uh, keeps their dividend yields the same and the price stays the same. Now, by the age of 50, you will be balling, all right? <laughs> you will be balling, okay? You will have $587,000 every single year from NRZ and dividends alone. You will have profit over $4.2 million and you will have a dividend portfolio of over $4.5 million. So that's $200 a day into a very risky stock at 14.64%. Uh, $200 every single week. By the time you're 50, you will be making over $587,000 every single year. You can retire wherever you want, whenever you want, and do anything you want at that price. But let's take another look at, um, let's try two more. Let's try Pepsi. That's in the uh, S&P 500 and it's a dividend aristocrat. Okay, so Pepsi, oh, it's almost a dividend king. It's almost a dividend king. They got two more years in order to become a dividend king. So their dividend yield is at 2.98%. Hit return. And let's scroll all the way down to year 10. You'll be making $3,000 a year and you'll have a $113,000 portfolio investing $800 a month. By year, by the time you're 40, you'll be making $7,000 a year, uh, $265,000 portfolio. And by the time you're 30, you'll be bringing in 13,000. And by the time you're 50, my apologies, you'll be bringing in $13,000 a year with a $469,000 portfolio, profiting $181,000. Now, Pepsi, their company is gonna grow. They're, they're, I know for a fact that their stock is not gonna be at $136,000 a year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now. They're gonna to continue to grow their company. This is a growth stock. That's why their dividend yield is so low. They're gonna grow their company. I could see Pepsi being at $500 in 30 years from now. So you will have way more than $469,000 invested into the stock market. Because remember, it does go up around 7% over time. NRZ, it might go down 7% every year, but you will get your dividends if they don't cut their dividends, which they have before. All right, let's pick one more, uh, AT&T. You guys know I use this one all the time because it's in the S&P 500 and it also has a 6.96 dividend yield and they've grown their dividends every year for the last 36 years. So let's use 6.96. 
So this is gonna be a little better than SPHD, but SPHD is a lot more reliable than AT&T because it's an ETF. It's across a whole bunch of different sectors. All right, so here we go. By year 10, you'll be bringing in $9,000 of month of yearly income from dividends with $142,000 portfolio. By the time you're 40, you'll be bringing in $27,000. You can retire, all right? In some countries, you can retire and you have a $420,000 portfolio. And by the time you're 30, I mean, by the time you're 50, you'll be bringing in $62,000 a year. You can retire in the United States if you wanted to, and you'll almost have a million dollar portfolio with a profit of $677,000 of profit in dividends alone. Now, that's what I invest into the stock market, okay, guys? Um, I'm, I'm not the richest guy on earth, okay? $200 a month is a lot, uh, a lot to me. It takes me a lot to invest $200 a month. But let's say it ain't tricking if you got it and you got around $500 you can invest every single week into the stock market. So that's $2,000 a month that you guys are going to invest into the stock market. Hit calculate returns. This is with the same company, AT&T. By year 10, you'll be bringing in $21,000 with a $326,000 portfolio. By year 20, you're 40 years old and you're bringing in $64,000. You could retire if you wanted to with almost a million dollar portfolio. And by the time you're 50, you'll be bringing in over $150,000 every single year from dividends alone. You will have made over $1.5 million in dividends and you have a $2.3 million portfolio. And, and, and some, to some people, $500 a week is nothing. To me, I'm not there yet. I would love to get there. If you guys hit that thumbs up button, I'll get there quicker than you, than, than, than you know it. But uh, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. But yeah, so one more time, for just for fun, let's type in NRZ one more time. That was with 14.78% with $500 every single um, week. By year 10, you can retire. <laughs> by year 10, you retire, but let's go and scroll all the way down by the time you're 50. You'll, and by the time you're 30, you'll be bringing in $1.3 million a year. Yeah. Yeah, now you see how ridiculous NRZ is. You'll be bringing in $1.3 million a year in dividends. Uh, and you'll be, and you have a, almost a $10 million portfolio. So now you see how ridiculous NRZ is. Um, it's not a stable company but they do have a high dividend yield. If somehow over the next 30 years, they don't cut their dividends, my, my, good, my good fellow man, you have won. You have beaten the stock market and you are the best investor of all time <laughs> just by picking that one company. But yeah, guys, if you guys wanna try out this tool, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. It's completely free to sign up. And then you go to trackingyourdividends.com, hit that calculator. You guys can type in any yield that you want, how much you invest into the stock market that you do. And then go come back, come down in the comment sections and let me know what you typed in, what age can you retire at, how much would you make, what company did you use? And then we could talk about it in the comment sections. I read all the comments, so you know, don't be shy. But um, you guys can help me invest $500 every single week by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel. But yeah, this is a quick tool that they just put out. I thought I'd share it with you guys. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.